This is to anyone out there that's listening. From everyone that ever let you down and went missing. Lovers, parents, best friends and siblings. Sometimes life conspires to make liars of good men. This is to anyone out there that's listening. From everyone that ever let you down and went missing. Lovers, parents, best friends and siblings. Sometimes life conspires to make liars of good men. I'm sorry I wasn't who you thought I was. Fuck it. I'm sorry I wasn't who I thought I was. I said no matter what, I'd always be there. But that wasn't honest, because I'm not. And because that ain't how life goes. Broken promise. Growing up, I always thought I was one of the good guys. I thought it was black and white like that. That I could nurture my good side. But I've course hurt and I've stripped pride. Both on the surface and inside. I wasn't cursed with a dark side. I was just normal. Average regular. Nothing special I'm telling you. Just being human makes you both God and the devil's clear replica. I've had my emotions crushed and maybe crushed a few along the way. And at the time, I meant every single word I would say. Every word of love and every word of hate. Every time I would adore and every time I'd berate. But time passes and sometimes those emotions fade. Making lies of both the threats and the promises made. But is a lie really a lie if you mean it at the time? How can a lie be a lie if you mean it at the time? A lie can't be a lie if you mean it at the time. How can a lie be a lie if you mean it? This is to anyone out there that's listening. This is to, this is to anyone out there that's still breathing. I bought the Heartbreak Hotel on my own with no investors. Closed it down and opened the fuck you, get over it bed and breakfast. In loving memory of having loving memories, of combustible emotions and of having real enemies. Typically poetically dramatic endings were once a trademark of mine, patents pending. And the mighty height of emotion on parting ways was always grander than the connections of the early days. When we were fighting, there used to be thunder and lightning, ferociously frightening, a clash of the titans, emotions heightened, every single muscle tightened, an addiction to the thrill of the fight, the excitement. Love at first sight always seemed unconsidered, I'd rather love at first fight and then on to double figures, an unconditional love well, that just means nothing. In love with the mere idea of loving something. Always just hunting for that near life experience. In fear of missing something vital from your own existence. All your emotions subconsciously thought out and scripted. Less about how you're feeling, more about how you fucking depict it. But all that stops when one day you just decide to stop playing along. That point in time when the most amazing things in the world can just as easily seem pedestrian. You've lost both that loving and that loathing feeling. Turns out hell does have a bottom and heaven a ceiling. Both love and hate become opaque in time's wake. A face that once summoned rage now summons nothing. Whether it's emotions tethered, nerve endings severed, or just the outlook you acquire when you're a little more weathered. Remaining conscious of this all, and in a way feeling above it, it still feels like bad riddance to good rubbish. But is a lie really a lie if you mean it at the time? <laughs> uh, how can a lie be a lie if you mean it? <laughs>